Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to book medical appointment for Australian visa. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do you exactly book a medical appointment here for an Australian visa? Well, the first thing that you want to do here is you first need to make sure that you have a copy of your request form. Now, in this case, it will also come in a referral form or, um, in this case, letter, referral letter, if you've received any. So, typically, it's going to be sent via your IMI account. So, this is just an example. This is from or directly from the IMI or Home Affairs from Australia. In this case, you first need to have a copy of your referral letter. So, it usually comes in a specific action item in your account. So in this case, first, it's going to ask you for your record history here. So you just need to answer or basically be honest with this one. Answer yes or no in the following questions. And also, you need to submit this. So you need to confirm a few things here. But if you want to view the client declarations here, you go and click on it again. Now, from here, once you've submitted all the information, it should show you so some information by yourself. That includes your, like for example, family name, your given names, and your identity document presented. In this case, you just need to click on save and print their fill out form. Now, once you click on it, you should have the option to save this on your computer. Now, just to give you an idea, this is what's going to look like. So your fill letter here should have your identity details as well as your personal details. Also, it should include your visa request ID and the visa that you're applying for. Now, in this case, make sure to have a copy of this referral letter because you'll need this for your application. Next is we now need to visit the official website, which is imi.homeaffairs.gov.au because applying for a medical appointment actually depends on what country you are, in this case, you are applying from. So at this case, at the top left of your screen, you want to go to menu here and you want to go ahead and click on the option that says help and support. And you want to go ahead and basically click on the meeting our requirements and you want to go to help. Now, under help, what we need to do is we need to look for a specific link here, which in this case, it's going to uh, say how to arrange health examinations. So go ahead and click on that specific uh, link there. Now, by the way, if you want to read further in this one, just to make sure they have or you are meeting the requirements here, you can go ahead and read them further. But let's go ahead and click on it. When, oh, um, this case went on uh, this case, the option that we clicked before, which is the how to arrange health examinations. Now, from here, what we need to do is we need to choose how we want to set up our uh, examination here. So if you're already on Australia here, what we need to do is we need to access the following. So you need to book your appointment here via Bupa, which in this case, you need to go to the following links here. That's why I told you to go to specific links here. Now, in this case, if you're outside from Australia, you need to go to an immigration office near you. So you need to contact a panel position that is approved by the Australian government. Now, in this case, let's go and click on immigration office nearest you. And from here, you want to scroll down a bit here. You want to choose your country. So let's just type in, like, for example, Philippines here. And from here, you could go and scroll down a bit here. So in this case, you want to look for the option that says panel position. So you don't want to click on the first things that you see here. First, go to the panel physician section because this is where you'll be able to book your uh, appointment or your medical appointment here. Let's go and click on this one. And you want to look for the uh, specific location that you want to book your appointment with. Now, in this case, these are kind of like third party, but they are associated with the uh, Australian government. So they are approved. So in this case, you need to choose one here. So basically choose the nearest one in your location. So make sure to take note of the street address here. So for example, this one, Nationwide Health Systems Baguio here, it actually is located in Baguio City. So if you're near or in Baguio City, you could go ahead and basically book with it. But in this case, maybe I want to, uh, basically, I actually use before, the one that I used before is actually IOM. So this one is a lot easier. So what I did is I just went to the actual website here that says philippines.iom.international. And from here, what we need to do is we need to scroll down a bit here. It's going to give you some information here, which is the, uh, for, for example, the default and official channels that they'll be communicating with you. So for example, if you're uh, applying for Australia, it's going to be mhc.au.iom.international. But it actually depends on what hospital or approved panel positions that you're going to choose. But in my case, this is what happened to me. Now, in this case, 
in some cases, the uh, price itself might be different depending, again, depending on the approved panel positions that you're uh, going with. So in my case, for, for IO Manila Health Center here, it's going to ask me to basically view the guidelines here as well as the appointment form here. So just to give you the here, this is what I did. So here, what I need, what I did here is I need to make sure that I have the following requirements here. So that includes my referral letter, like what I did before, like what I shown you, the referral letter that you need. And also you need to have your valid passport and a copy of the bio page. So make sure to have multiple copies of your bio page because sometimes they might ask you on like another copy. So it might be a hassle. Like if you're going to go there and have a photocopy of it, you might need to go outside and have it photocopy. But in this case, if you already have one, have one here, great. It's a lot better. It's going to be uh, faster for you. Now, you also need to have one government issued ID. So this may be like, for example, your driver's license or your uh, any ID that is government issued would be good, uh, except for your passport. So another ID besides your passport here. And also, it's going to give you some additional uh, requirements here. So if you're like zero to 18 years old, you need to bring your birth certificate. And also for minor applicants, you need to uh, basically bring a parent, uh, you need to have like a parent with you and bring two valid government issued IDs. And for minor applicants going by a guardian, not the parent, you need to have a letter authorization to valid government issued IDs. Uh, in this case, you also have, or in this case, who require HIV testing here, you need to fill out and print the HIV personal information sheet. And from here, you need to take account what you need for your uh, medical, uh, your procedure or your examination here. So in my case, I did bring my referral letter here, which what we did before. And also I have a copy or photocopy of my bio page of my passport and the actual passport I have and some other government IDs. I also brought another or a different one just in case that it require that. And also brought like a photocopy or a password photocopy or password photo that I have also brought that just in case and also brought my birth certificate just in case. And also make sure to have a photocopy of your fail letter here. Sometimes they might require you or ask for it. So make sure to have a extra copy of that as well. Now, in my case for this hospital, it also requires me to fill out all the information here. So I would suggest you to fill out all the information, uh, includes the application number, if available, your HAP ID or your uh, referral letter here, which in this case, you need to refer to your uh, Australian embassy or letter from the Australian embassy here if you want to. So that's why we printed this one. And also, you need to answer a few things here and basically complete all the inside information here. But make sure that your information here are actually correct and you haven't misspelled anything. Now, any misspelling that you do here can actually affect your application. So misinformation, incorrect information that does not match will affect your whole application. So make sure that all information are correct. But once you fill this one and downloaded it, what we need to do is you now need to reach out to the following um, email. So in my case, what I did is I actually sent an email to this one, uh, to the following, um, uh, email here since I'm applying for Australia. So I sent an email, email say, Hey, uh, hi, I just want to, uh, book an appointment. And from then on, they will, uh, have it arranged for you. They will give you, uh, different dates that will be available at times that you can go there. But in this case, they will actually give you further instructions, but I won't be able to give you the exact email that they sent, uh, they sent, they sent me because this is going to be quite confidential and, uh, I don't want to uh, leak information out there, but again, you just need to reach out to the following emails here while you have the following documents with you. So make sure to fill out all this information first. But yeah, once you've emailed them, they will give you instructions. And from then on, just uh, have a constant communication, talk to them, and from then on, they will be able to help you. Now, by the way, payment actually depends on the hospital. In my case, it actually, I paid for the appointment itself on the facility. So you can only pay for it in cash. Make sure to have cash with you. Sometimes they will not accept card payments, so you will have, you will need to have some cash with you. But yeah, so those are the things I could give, share to you, or in this case, uh, tells you or what you could do for applying for your medical appointment here. But it's actually a case to case basis, whether which hospital you go to or uh, go with. Uh, it would depend on their uh, service and their process. 
But yeah, so this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.